potential acquisitions will start to, you know, be too numerical, too numerous, I should say, for you to deal with very quickly when you are raising potential deal flow, when you're getting a lot of deals going to your um, systems, your emails, you're reviewing it yourself, you're getting phone calls from brokers, possibly you're getting PDFs sent by them. Quite quickly, you're going to get overwhelmed if you're not careful. And just like choosing a product on Amazon, there's an embarrassment of riches. There is far, many, far too many possible deals for you to do. And so what we need to do is eliminate things. We need to do it quickly and simply. This is not the time in the process for deep dive analysis. You're going to get paralysis by analysis very quickly if you do that. If you don't have clear buying criteria, don't even look for deals. Go in, clarify what it is you want. Or if you've looked for deals and it's made you rethink your criteria, perfectly fine, but go and rethink what is it I am looking for, to put it really bluntly, because if you don't know that, you aren't going to know when you found it, are you? Sounds kind of simple, but it's very easy to get caught up in chasing down all sorts of avenues. Stick to your lane, stick to what you know or your partners know. Okay, so once you've built that, and we are just trying to get things out that are unsuitable and what's left, we take forward to the next stage, which is getting in contact with the sellers of the businesses and asking to have a meeting. Okay, so really what we're trying to decide now is, is this business good enough for me to take the time and effort to meet with the seller? I don't want to waste people's time, don't want to waste my own time, but when it's good enough for it to feel worth an hour or whatever, even two of a couple of people's time or a couple of teams' time as a bigger situation, then it's good enough. Don't overthink. So, by the way, numbers on this, if you originate for every 100 deals you originate, whether through brokers, your network, or whatever other methods we've discussed, out of those, you probably want to call those suspect, suspects, so they're possible deals. Then, it, like you have in sales, you have suspects, prospects, and qualified prospects. So you have possible deals, maybe, maybe the right kind of thing. Prospects, that they'll, they'll definitely look solid, and qualified prospects, okay, they definitely tick a few boxes. So that's what we want to get out of the end of it. And you would say out of every 100 businesses you look at, maybe 20 to 25 or 30 will be qualified. If you are finding that you look at 100 businesses and none of them look good enough, it may be that you don't have clear buying criteria, in which case, go back to step three. It could be that you're being overcritical at this stage. We don't need to be super defensive. Okay, that's the man mindset. Very important, very simple, but very important. Do not get into paralysis analysis, no need. Because nobody's making a commitment. Talking to a buyer isn't a big commitment. To do anything, you're exploring a possibility, a good possibility, hopefully, but that's all it is. So two basic ways when you are filtering, when you're looking for a business and you're trying to figure out, should we filter this out or in? Two basic things. The business fit, does it fit your criteria? And I'm just going to make a note here. Of course, all notes are as ever over at www.10kcollective.com if you want to check out the show notes. Does the business fit buying criteria and what are the opportunities for growth? Those are the big areas.